They came today like they did in the 1800s. Before we were even a diocese, when it was a village. The first seven religious communities who paved the way in Brooklyn. And they planted their roots here at St. James. The home to the early communities, the doorway to the diocese. It was the church in the beginning. So when religious came, they were invited to stay here. So we had multiple religious communities who began in St. James. Each day they would take the ferry across and would teach here at St. James. So this was our foundation, I think it was 1851. Now more than 150 years later, in the year of consecrated life, the Diocese of Brooklyn came together to not only remember the first pioneers, but their growth from just seven to 98 communities. Yes, we honor those roots, but they planted the seeds. Then they came one after the other after the other, you know, so we have almost 100 now. Education, uh, care for the poor, immigrants, uh, work with the Catholic charities, they were they were, they were hands-on serving the people. It's a recognition of a reality. We were there then, we're still there. Each congregation was given a candle to represent a sacrifice and a faith that will never burn out. It's history continuing itself. We began in uh, 1681 in France, and we're now in 80 countries in the world, and one of the places we happen to be is in Brooklyn. <laughs> Just seeing the candles over there that will be um, given to those first congregations, of which we are one of them, is, is very moving. That's the hidden mystery of, of the monastic life and of the life of prayer, that the grace comes to people, even if you can't always uh, identify it at the time. And with this grace, the congregations look forward to the future. To live in the present in the 21st century, and to know that the future is unknown and it's exciting to live and that we still have our mission here. Thanks to these first communities, the Diocese of Immigrants has brothers and sisters from all corners of the globe. Reporting for Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.